This episode of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown features Edward's BF 109G6, Mirror Model CMP F15A Lori, Svezda's Airbus A320, AMK's L29 Delphin, and pink sets from AK Interactive. Hi and welcome to another edition of Fine Scale Modeler's new product rundown. I'm Tim Kidwell. I'm Aaron Skinner. Let's get started today with Edward's much anticipated 148 scale BF 109 G6. Now, the G6 was the most numerous variant of the BF-109, with more than 12,000 produced between February of 1943 and June of 1944. This is the plane that carried the fight to the Allies throughout Europe right up until the end of the war. There have been other 148 scale G6s in the, on the market, and some of you might be asking, do we really need another one? Well, that's true, Tim, but based on what I've seen in the box, the detail, engineering, and, and design, I'd say this one's the bee's knees. The, bee, the bee's knees. Straight from 1951, Aaron Skinner, everyone. Anyway, the kit itself is molded in dark gray plastic. The parts show the state-of-the-art detail Edward is capable of these days. The major airframe components are marked with recessed panel lines and rows of petite rivets. It's pretty amazing, actually. There's a terrific looking cockpit with seat, controls, and pedals. Edward uses a clear part for the fuel line that runs along the starboard wall. Colored photo etched metal provides the harness, an alternative instrument panel, and a bunch of other parts. There's no engine, and unlike some previous 109 kits, most of the cowl is molded with the fuselage. That should make the build a whole lot less fiddly. All of the control surfaces are separate, including the flaps and leading edge slats. There's detail in the wheel wells and radiators. Options include the extended air filter, antennas, armored headrests, windshields, and underwing guns. The wealth of unused parts, different props, tires, main wheels, tail wheels, vertical tails, and chin scoops clearly point to other versions on the horizon. As with all Edward kits, there's a great set of decals, this time printed by Cartograph. It includes markings for five BF-109s, Four view color drawings show the camouflage schemes to good effect. Another sheet features stencils for the airframe. Pre-cut masks round out the package. Now I should mention there have been some accuracy concerns leveled at this kit, especially the wingspan being a mite too long. I'm not going to go into detail here. Suffice to say, if you wish, you can look for details online. What is clear is that this is a nice set of plastic that should build into a good looking model of one of the most important fighters of World War II. Next, Mirror Models continues its line of Commonwealth trucks with the CMP F-15A van lorry in 135th scale. There were more than 200,000 Canadian military pattern trucks produced by Ford and Chevrolet during World War II, and they served in a variety of places like North Africa and Italy, Northern Europe, Burma, and the Pacific. Mirror Models kits have evolved since they first showed up in 2012. Gone are the resin parts. The plastic parts, and there are a bunch of them, are cleanly molded in medium gray plastic. Sprue gates are relatively fine, and small parts such as steering wheels and control rods are scale thin. There's a complete Ford flathead V8 engine and drivetrain. The cab features a dashboard, pedals, shift lever, and seats. This kit represents the hardtop version with clear parts for the back window and windshield, as well as the headlights. The cargo bed builds up from flat panels with detail on both sides. A photo etched metal fret provides the engine grill, detail trim, fan, windshield wipers, and even the Ford logo on the radiator. Two gauges of copper wire are included to scratch build some details. This is not a kit for beginners. Decals are included to mark three F-15As, one each Canadian, German, and British. If you're interested in trucks and have built a few kits, Mirror's F-15A may be just the thing to give your skills a little bit of a boost. It also has German markings in it, Tim, so it might be good for our orphaned armor group build. That's a great idea. If you guys are looking to, you know, participate on the FSM forum, this would be a perfect choice. Our third kit today comes from Zvezda. It's their 1144 scale A320. The narrow body Airbus is second only to Boeing 737 in terms of numbers built as the most popular airliner ever. Now, the A320 was the first in the family, and it went into service in 1988. Russia-based Zvezda has become a major player in kit manufacturing lately, and one of their pushes has been commercial aircraft. This kit takes that push to a whole new level as an ultimate kit, and it does 
some things in plastic that we haven't seen in small scale airliners before. Most notably, the provision for deployed flaps and slats so the aircraft can be modeled in takeoff or landing mode. Alternate parts negate the need for surgery. The main cabin door can be posed open, and there are parts to model the entryway visible there, including galley lockers and flight attendant jump seats. There's a cockpit too. It features seats, panels, and bulkheads, just enough detail to see something through the windshield. The instructions show only the CFM56 engines, but the sprue includes the Pratt & Whitney PW6000 engines used on many A320s. Both have single piece intake rings and thin trailing edges. Surface detail and molding is outstanding with very fine engraved panel lines and tiny rain gutters molded over the doors. The cabin windows are molded open with clear parts to fill them. The windshield incorporates part of the fuselage, making installation easy. A stand is included to show the plane in flight, and optional parts are given to display the gear doors closed. There are compressed and extended versions of the gear legs for on the ground or in flight. Well-printed decals provide Aeroflot's current livery and registrations and names for three aircraft. This is a beautiful model, and knowing how many decals are already available for A320s, this should be a welcome addition for anybody who likes building airliners. Our last kit today comes from a brand new manufacturer, Avant Garde Model Kits from China. The kit is the 148th scale Aero L29 Delphin. You know, it seems like we can't go more than a couple episodes of the MPRD without mentioning a new kit of a trainer. This is a subject that really hasn't had a whole lot of joy in 148th scale before now. True. Designed in Czechoslovakia in the late 1950s, the L-29 became the Warsaw Pact nation's standard trainer. 2,000 of them served with the Soviet Air Force and widely exported. Others served in Asia, Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. This looks like a cracker of a kit. Molded in dark gray plastic, the parts show recessed panel lines and rivets, and there's structural detail in the landing gear bays and intakes. The tandem cockpit includes five-part ejection seats, controls, and panels with decal instruments. Molded padding marks the walls, and a separate turtle deck completes the cockpit. Thin, clear canopy sections can be posed open or closed. The flaps can be shown up or down, and the rudder, elevator, and speed brakes are posable. photo etched brass is used for flap and brake hinges, and a few panels. Colorful decals provide markings for seven aircraft, two Czech and one each from the Soviet Union, Slovakia, East Germany, Iraq, and Indonesia. This looks like just a neat little kit. Finally today, let's examine a couple of paint sets from AK Interactive. AK Interactive is better known for its armor painting and weathering sets, but it started a line just for aircraft. The initial set is camouflage colors for a Luftwaffe aircraft. It includes eight 17 milliliter dropper bottles, RLM 02, 66, 65, 70, 71, 74, 75, and 76. These acrylics are designed to be either hand painted or airbrushed. The box advertises that the colors include something called scale reduction factor, which we assume means scale effect. It also says that the paints will dry glossy, which should be perfect for applying decals. The back of the box shows several examples of the camouflage that can be done with the set. The second paint set comes from another new line for AK, designed specifically for figures. The flesh and skin set consists of six 17 milliliter acrylic colors. Base flesh, light flesh, highlight flesh, shadow flesh, dark shadow flesh, and cheekbone glaze. Six step instructions printed on the back of the box guide modelers through the basic painting process. Look for reviews of the BF-109, the A320, and the Delphin in upcoming issues of Fine Scale Modeler Magazine. And you can see more of these and other new products in this September issue on sale August 5th. Thank you for visiting FineScale.com. I'm Tim Kidwell. And I'm Aaron Skinner. We'll see you next time. Yes, we will. And you can see more of these and other new products in the September issue on sale August 5th. Thank you for visiting VineScale.com. I'm, uh, I'm Aaron Skinner. <laughs> Holy shnikes. No, no, I'm Aaron Skinner. <laughs> <laughs>